A lack of knowledge can be a small thing or a serious thing. It's one thing to try and ride a bike if you haven't done it before. It's an entirely different thing to get behind the wheel of a car without knowing what you're doing, or at least without having a teacher by your side. In the same way, doing life without the knowledge that God's Word provides can be very dangerous. We may be under grace, but that doesn't mean that there aren't very real consequences to sin in God's world, even sin committed in ignorance. God said through the prophet Hosea, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. It's not hyperbole to say the knowledge of God's word can keep us from destroying each other and ourselves. Think about it, without the knowledge of God's word that says, I urge you to walk with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Without that, how are we gonna handle political disagreements? We'll destroy each other. Without the knowledge of God's word that says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Without that, how are we gonna handle our fear, our unrest? We'll probably try and soothe it in unhealthy ways, ways that can destroy. Without the knowledge of God's word that says, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. How are we gonna handle temptation? Probably by assuming that we are strong enough to deal with our desires instead of surrendering the power of God's spirit. And that doesn't usually end well. So do you possess a knowledge of God's word? Knowledge about who you are, knowledge about why you're here, knowledge about who God is, knowledge about what God has done for you in Christ. This is knowledge we can't live without.